Hello friends, welcome to Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. I'm Gail Annis Ford, the pastor here. I'm glad to talk with you today. I've been thinking about a quote that is posted in many places and that you hear, you hear often enough, and it's this. There is no limit to what can be accomplished if it doesn't matter who gets the credit. Now, the quote has been attributed to many people. Uh, most often people think it started with Harry Truman, but maybe not. It's also been attributed to Ralph Waldo Emerson and Ronald Reagan and other folks as well. But the reason that I was thinking of it is because I've heard it attributed recently to General Colin Powell, who just passed away not long ago and whose service was just held. And I was thinking about him in the context of All Saints, which just passed as well, and, and the gift that he brought to the world that God gave him to bring to the world. Does it matter who say it, said it? According to the quote, it doesn't. There's no limit to what can be accomplished if it doesn't matter who gets the credit. I was thinking of Exodus chapter 3, and Moses is talking with God, and it's the occasion of the burning bush. And Moses is uh, surprised by everything that happens, and the, the bush is burning and not being consumed, and what's going on with all of that? He has just established a, a peaceful life, uh, having fled Egypt. And God says to him, you know, I've heard some things. I've heard what's going on with my people in Egypt, and I've heard how miserable they are and how they're being oppressed, and I want you. I, God, am appointing you, Moses, to go and be the one who takes care of things, who leads the people. And Moses has various reasons why he can't do that, but finally he asks, and who shall I say sent me? Who's gonna get the credit? And God says, I am who I am. Kind of cryptic, right? What does that mean? I am who I am? I am sent me. And Moses is like, well, yeah, okay, that'll go over well. But Moses goes and does it, right? And we know the story and knows what happens. But God wasn't so worried about who got the credit, just that the people who were in misery had been heard and that someone was going to come and act and so god deputized somebody to go and act moses was to go and act so where in your life is there something that you can do without needing to get any credit that will address somebody else's misery or suffering or difficulty how is it that god could be sending you to go to a place where god has heard that someone is hurting not to worry about who gets the credit, but just to alleviate somebody else's difficulty. I hope you'll think about that today and do just one little thing that will be you being sent by God to deal with somebody else's difficulty. And it doesn't matter who gets the credit because all glory will belong to God. Thanks be to God. Amen.